Hey guys, so I just wanted to go over an article that I found online and it really, really, really is awesome in explaining your obligation to be a debt buyer, you know, such as portfolio recovery, okay? So I will put the link to it, but it's on snopes.com, S-N-O-P-E-S.com. So there's a claim that consumers are not obligated to pay back debt that creditors have written off or sold, and this is 100% false. So there was something that was posted on social media last year, and it spread like wildfire. So I'm going to paraphrase, and it says, don't pay them a dime. If your original creditor sold your debt to a collection agency, they also wrote off your debt and on their taxes, which wrote off your obligation to pay. So then they go on to explain how you can go on TransUnion and dispute it, and that your reason would be contract was canceled and write no contract. So it's 100% false, okay? So they do give an example here. So debt can indeed be legally sold or assigned, and them doing so does not relieve the debtor of the obligation to pay, because otherwise, the debt purchasing industry would not exist. Okay, so here is their example. So they sell it for uh, $2,000 and the original debt is 10,000, okay? So the purchaser paid $2,000 for this $10,000 debt, excuse me, $10,000 debt, but they can go and collect that whole $10,000 if they choose to do so from the, um, the debtor, okay? So the original creditor, is going to report this $2,000 as income and write off the remaining $8,000 as unrecoverable debt. So it's true that you no longer owe the original creditor, but you are legally obligated to pay whoever bought up the debt. So um, because you are basically not going to say I have no contract with you know Midland or Calvary or Portfolio, there has to be other reasons that you're using to remove you know, it's the actual collection. So I did come up with a few of them on here and um, I found a crap load of uh, um, errors in what I wrote, but it took me 32 seconds to write this. So, you know, I wasn't doing my SATs or whatever. So um, forgive my errors on here. You will get the point. So this is how to remove debt by collection. So obviously you're going to put, and this is a bureau dispute letter, your, the date, your info, and uh, the bureau info. And then a simple reason for just, you know, sending them a letter. So mine was, I can't figure out why this account is on my credit report. A need for you to do some sort of, and it's supposed to say independent, not individual investigation, because I'm already familiar with how this works. I won't accept the formal response stating that this has been verified by the creditor. So you will want to put, you know, portfolio recovery, 517-805. You don't have to put company account number i.e. you're just putting portfolio recovery 517805. So the original account doesn't report that it's been sold to another lender and the FCRA states that uh, when an account is sold it must state so in the status or that account cannot report you know because they no longer own it if that, uh, excuse me, if the uh, collector is also reporting the account. So the second thing I came up with was the original account was reporting a balance monthly payment past due. And this goes with the video I posted this week on removing inaccurate charge offs. Um, but it's also being reported by a collection agency that bought the account. So only the owner of the account can report the balance monthly payment and past due okay you always want to ask for the deletion delete the account remove that account remove this from my credit report so on and so forth okay so the third one is the um the original account reports missing word there as sold but there's late payments reporting after you know whoever it was bought the account so how does that make any sense so that means that for a specific period of time you know both companies own the account no it doesn't work like that remove the account so the last one is portfolio allegedly owns this account, but the original account still reports that Capital One owns it. Two companies cannot own the same account. Please immediately remove both accounts. Other reasons that you can use would be, you know, the balance, the ownership, or it's just completely unknown. So these are just a couple examples. Um, and the only reason I wrote them was just because, you know, I wanted to point out that this is absolutely true that, you know, you can't remove something by simply stating that the count contract was canceled. And I even have it where people tell me, you know, I'm disputing these and basically stating that I want to see the invoice. They're not going to send you the freaking invoice. Okay. So whatever on that. Um, now 
I will be posting another video tomorrow. I'm actually posting two videos. One of them is going to be live, okay? So tomorrow night is going to be the first one where I walk you through something based off of what you guys posted in the comment section. And um, then I also will be doing a live video uh, where I give away a sweep and it'll be four month coverage up to 15 negative items, okay? So the live one will be at 10 o'clock. So make sure to come to the channel, all right, because I will be telling you how you can be part of that and what you need to do to actually get it, and I'll be choosing someone live, okay? So um, that is basically it. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. The other one, <clears throat> excuse me, the other one, the walkthrough will also be posted at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So have a great day.